I said to my wife, you know, somebody should start a green cemetery in Pittsburgh. And she said, well, what are you doing? <laughs> so, so that's how I ended up starting it. It was without much more thought than that. A natural burial park means that we bury people the way they were buried 200 years ago, without any embalming. Everything goes in the ground is biodegradable. It's either a wood coffin or just a cloth shroud. We have a 35 acres of land and two acres is dedicated to burial, but the other is dedicated to people. So we always talk about life at Penn Forest, not death at Penn Forest. We have a master plan that goes out about 150 years. Right now we have 1,400 graves laid out, but if the park grows, we can get to 15,000 graves. We have 10 acres that are set aside as a wildlife refuge, and that'll always stay that way. So that we'll, we'll always be here. That's, that's the idea, long after I'm gone. We have Catholics, we have Greek Orthodox, we've had Evangelical Protestants, we've had no religion, we've had Buddhists, we've had uh, Seventh-day Adventists buried here. We have had it all, so there is no religious thing about it. I guess the common denominator is they're interested in the environment. When I think about social justice and environmentally friendly burial, uh, the environmentally friendly part part is important to me. I, I don't like toxic chemicals in the ground. We're doing a number of different things. We're making a beautiful place for people to rest. Um, we're making a more environmentally sound burial area by not using chemicals. And it's less costly for the people that are doing the burying. And all around, I think it's a win-win situation for everybody. It's much better, I think, than the ways that we have now for burial, where you're using horrible chemicals that are gonna stay in the ground forever. And this just seems much more natural. It, it, it's very low impact on the earth and seems more natural. We have walking trails. People can come and visit. They can walk their dogs. And we have a lot of projects around Penn Forest that uh, that train people in other areas of life. So uh, we do gardening projects. We're doing, uh, we'll be making baskets uh, with our willows this fall, this summer. Uh, we have a blacksmith training class that's gonna train people how to, how to do that work. Uh, and we'll have another number of other projects. We're gonna have a, a, a greenhouse here that'll allow people to grow, uh, grow tea uh, and other plants like that. So uh, it's, it's an opportunity for the community to get involved with what we're doing here. So it's a park, it's a park. And, and it, but it's a, we also bury people here, so in a natural way. And we got into farming because we wanted to uh, clear the brush off of the cemetery in the most sustainable way we could. So we've, uh, we have these goats and the goats uh, clear the brush and, and uh, so we don't have to use machinery or or, or uh, pesticides, herbicides. The goats play a very interesting role. Instead of using insecticides or harsh things on the, on the earth, we're gonna use them to get rid of the weeds. And they will be very happy to eat the poison ivy and the, all the different wild roses that grow and everything that is hard to remove by humans. They'll just eat it and be very happy. We have relied on volunteers from the time we started. We had volunteers that helped us find the land. We had volunteers on committees that helped us write the rules and regulations for the cemetery. And now most of our volunteers are involved in, in special work projects. So um, it, I don't, we couldn't have done any of this without volunteers. It's been very gratifying.
It's not just a place to go when you die, it's a place to go when you live.